So, EA just dropped a year in review player pick. This guarantees you one of three items of SBCs throughout the entire year up until the 31st of December. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. This is really interesting. So it's only SBC cards and it's all the SBCs that have been released since, from the start of the game until the 31st. So you can get play of the month of Ronaldo, play of the month of Salah, uh, a flashback Kante. Let's see what we get. First play, but it's an 85 rated squad to complete. And I've got, I've got a choice of Flashback Chiellini, Fire Pulisic, and Rule Breakers Gusens. I mean, it's, it's interesting. I think what's very interesting about it is that you can, you can get SBC cards that maybe like are just gone. So if you missed out on an SBC card, you, know, you can get it back. Very interesting. I'm going to take Flashback Chiellini, I think. Um, obviously, it's only an 85 rate card, but it's still a cool card. I like the idea that you can go and get SBCs that you haven't had before. Uh, let's go a bit more on share play and see what we get. All right, next year review player pick. What's interesting, I'm wondering if you can get icons. Because icons have technically had SBCs. We've had icon SBCs. I wonder if they technically count. I guess we'll find out. Player of the month, Mo Salah. That's sick. 92 rated Mo Salah. Get, no, don't you dare even think about Fekir. All right? I'm, I'm, I'm upset that you've still got him in the club. Player of the month, Mo Salah. How are you debating this? It's It's got to be Mo Salah. It's got to be Mo Salah. What a pack pull. That is sick. All right, next year in review player pick for Steve-O. I'm wondering, like, if the, there's no Newcastle players, is there? Oh, Alwa, PK. I suppose that's a good shout as well. PK, you got Shula. Uh, you can get Shula, who's a pretty good card. There's so many random cards you can get. It's, this is a really interesting player pick. It's maybe not the best SPC ever, right? But it's not super, super expensive. It's an 85 rated squad. And you can get some really fun cards that you can't ever get again. So it's quite, yeah, it's quite creative and clever. All right, next year in review player pick. I do like this, man. This is fun. All right, next one. What are we saying? The worst one is if we get all three already owned. That would suck. Ooh, Kovacic or Vasquez. What's also pretty cool about it is at the time, some of these SPCs, maybe people wouldn't want to complete. For example, at the time Kovacic came out, maybe people didn't want to complete and they didn't have a Prem squad. This guy could have packed Team of the Year Kante and Tradable, and all of a sudden, that Kovacic now fits his squad very nicely. Or, for example, Vazquez, if he's got Spanish players. And I like that about it as well, because it, it adds like a new dynamic to the, uh, the, the player pick. All right, next year in review player pick. We were also thinking of like play of the month Vinicius Jr. Play of the month Cristiano Ronaldo would be like really, really good. Um, I'm trying to think of other player of the month from the Prem. Sterling, I guess. Was Sterling joined team of the year? I can't remember. Was, St was Sterling in January? Oh, uh, Neres is not bad. Neres is an okay card to be fair. Five star skills. He wasn't super expensive. That's the only thing. I guess you're looking for an SBC that came out that was more than an 85 rated squad at the time. Because then you've technically done better if that makes sense all right next year in review player pick what we say in ea can we get a premier league player of the month or something like that let's see what we're saying oh that's a bad one okay that's our first bad one that's our first like absolute stinker absolute utter just terrible unfortunately unless for some reason they fit your team which they probably won't all right one van yada versus vinskin zixton Yarova Zikton. Spielerkuse. Yarova Zikton. I think I said that right, actually. I, I'm, I'm starting to learn new languages thanks to SharePlay. I really, you know, you learn new things every day. All right, here we go. What are we saying? Ooh, Mertens. Ooh, flashback Riyad Mahrez. Chong, Mertens, Riyad Mahrez. Not bad. Chong was an 86 rated squad, so you technically, you know, done it for cheaper, right? Uh, Mares is not bad. I think that's okay. Mertens is pretty good too. I think he's taking Chong though. I think he's might be Dutch. So, oh no, no he's not. Never mind. All right, next year in review player pick. What we're saying? Come on, EA, big pull right here. Oh, you don't really get a choice there, do you? Because you've already got the two items. I mean, I can't. If you're running, if you're running a Bundesliga setup, it's not a terrible card to be fair. Um, he's got nice stats, but yeah, that's quite unfortunate that he's got two plays he's already got already. All right, our next, uh, Yardo Vesicton. What are we saying right now? EA. <laughs> what? What are the odds? What are the odds? That's hilarious. 
What are the odds of two Benzema's in one player pick? That is so funny. I need to take a screenshot of that. That is hilarious. Um, I guess we'll take flashback Benzema, who is a really, really good card. That's sick, man. That is really, really cool. Two Benzema's in one player pick. What are the odds? Next year in review, one out of three. Oz, Oz, what? Okay, yeah, that right there. What are we saying? Eh, oh, Shula's a really good one in my opinion. That card, even if you want to play it in champs, is still so, so good. That is a good card. Big W in my opinion. Next, year in review player pick. Come on, EA. We'll rush straight into this one. Oh, my word. I didn't even know you could get Daka. That is a big win. That I, I would argue Daka is better than all of the others, right? And, and things like that. Because Daka, you had to get 15 tokens to get from winter wildcard swaps so not only did you not have to get the tokens for it and only submit an 85 rated squad that card is really good as well he tears me apart bro he's so good that in my opinion can be one of the better cards you can get just for the sheer you don't have to spend any of the time on it which is really cool all right now the fact that we got daca there makes me think you can get icon swap icons from these or i like to believe you can Speaking of Daka, there he is again with Player of the Month Mo Salah again, which is fantastic. Um, I like to believe you can get icons from these, but I don't know if you can or not. I haven't seen an icon yet, but the thought, my thought process is if you can get winter wildcard swaps, you should be able to get icon swaps as well. So we'll keep an eye out for that. But Player of the Month Mo Salah is still a fantastic pack, but he's what, 800-900k SPC when he came out, so you'd love to see it. All right, next year in review player pick, he's got Beast FC's his club name. What are we saying, EA? Next year in review player pick. I honestly totally forgot about Pedro. Cosa's not awful. Uh, I think Cosa is pretty decent. Um, I forgot that that Pedro even existed, to be fair. Not great, though. Not great. All right. Next one, we've got Melo's. What are we saying? Melo got Matthias yesterday. In this pick, Maglor, Lenormand, or David Neres. That is, that is probably the worst one so far. I think that might be... Uh, that might be the worst one we've seen. David Neres is pretty much the only option I'd go with there. All right, next year in review player pick. Come on, EA. Can we get player of the month? Sue. What are we saying? Okay. So twice in this video, we've somehow managed to get two of the same player in the player pick, which makes me think there is something fishy going on with SBCs. Um, player of the month in Kunku, by the way, that's a really nice card. That is a really nice card. And to be fair, the good version of the uh, Rule Breakers one. But a table is also sick. I don't know who to pick there. Let me know in the comments down below who you would pick if you got this player pick. All right, we've got our guy Brian's player pick next. We're hoping we can get a big W for Brian. We're almost at 20 player picks there as well. I think this is like number 18 or something. So I'm hoping we can get something sick. Hey, Miura. I mean, look, if you're a big Danny Aarons fan, that's a really good pull. Uh, Goosens is still a good box-to-box -box midfielder as well. So, not a terrible pick, to be fair. And Miura is obviously a fun one to get. Not terrible. All right, next player pick. Come on, EA. Ooh, Kovacic, Dilit, or Edward. That Edward card's sick. Kovacic is really good as well. Dilit wasn't a big fan of when I had him. Um, it's a tough one. I think I'd probably choose Kovacic if it was me. Um, that's a good one, though. That is that is a pretty good one, because I think both Edward and Kovacic are really good cards. That's decent. All right, we're on to our last year in review player pick for the video. Number 20. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Ooh, that's actually a hard choice. You got a choice of Showdown Nabi Keita or Showdown Shula. I think I'd probably choose Shula, but that's actually a really good choice right there. Depends on your team, actually, whether you get Nabi Keita or Shula there. If you need a defender... Shula, if you need a midfielder, Navigator. Let me in the comments down below what you guys got. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.